like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Guys, I'm back with a flashback and it feels so weird saying that because I haven't said that in so long, but this video features Rambo, aka Wild Quetzal, and Nubian, aka Musa, aka Dalen. Y'all, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. All right, guys, let's get into this video. Everybody, peace reflections. Peace. It's um, Professor Rambo right here in the building, right here outside, actually outside of nature. Outside, yeah. Um, Professor Rambo and Professor Musa. Mm -hmm. We're coming on this, um, Mother Eliana's, um, is her Mother Eliana's, right? Yeah, yeah. On her Facebook. Um, today, we want to talk about a very important, one of the, like, the most important thing we could probably speak on in regards to topics when we're discussing really what we need to be doing on this on this um, realm. We wanted to speak about what the earth really is and put it into a perspective of what you what you are and in relations to what you're living on and, and what this reality is. Because when we talk about the earth, if we really want to break it down, we can see it that it's um when we zoom out of this earth it it's really just an organism. Just like you have trillions of cells within your body, you have all kinds of cells that perform different functions. The earth is really just a fractal version of of that, of what you are. It's it's a cell, an organism in itself with trillions of cells. What are the cells in, on the earth? It's um, the trees, the birds, the animals. These are all cells and they all perform different functions within this organism on this, um, on what we call planet earth, right? So we know, understand the fractal nature of reality. We can, just by observing one dimension, we can really zoom out and understand how all other dimensions work. So that's why the, it's a perfect analogy the human body because really that's what it is. It's, um, if you have equilibrium within your body and everything's healthy, all the cells are performing how they're supposed to be performing, mm -hmm. then there's going to be health. Right. But if something goes wrong and there's mutations within your body, this is when we get disease. This is when we get imbalance. And just the same way it is with the earth as well. The earth is an organism and when it experiences mutations due to certain cells that um, have been mutated, we call these cosmic mutations. And these are the human beings on this planet that aren't living in tune and in harmony with nature because they're not living in tune and harmony with themselves, their own human nature. So these beings that have mutated uh, cosmic mutations and they're playing out a role on this realm that isn't conducive to the health of, of this organism and you know i wonder if rambo aka wild quetzal still holds some of the same beliefs as he did back in carbonation i'm really curious i wonder if he'll speak on what he's taken on with him along the journey and what he's left behind. You know, Stephanie, a.k.a. Serenity, a.k.a. Grace, did that recently. So it'll be interesting to see if he does the same. A role on this realm that isn't conducive to the health of, of this organism. And that's why we end up with the world we see today. We see all this shit that's going on. We see the destruction, the depleting of resources. We see mm -hmm. they're cutting down trees, cutting down the the lungs of the earth and, and sucking up the oil. You know, that's what essentially what the oil is, is the blood of the earth, of this organism. And that's why we see all these things that are being done by people who are disconnected from themselves, who are have mutated mm -hmm. and have no longer have the understanding what they really are. And that's why they're able to do all these things on this organism and they and essentially when you look at it it's really just a cancer on this planet that's what it is it's um a representation of of what would be within our own body when we experience imbalance you know yeah and so i think you know what we really have to ask ourselves is um are we acting as cancer cells on this organism or just in general what role do we play on this organism because when you when you look at cancer and how it uh, performs within the body, it basically feeds off of its host without uh, properly giving back or even uh, being aware 
uh, of the fact that it's part of a larger system. It's part of something bigger than itself. It's unaware of that. And so, like you said, because of that, it's able to perform these functions where it's building cities. I mean, think about it. Like, when you look into cities, you have to realize that all these materials, every single thing that we're taking and we're alchemizing for other uses, we're taking from nature. We're taking from this organism. That's like a cell going inside your body and taking some of your bones. Let me get some of these bones. Let me get some of this. And I'm going to build my own structure within your body that doesn't even go. It's not even in harmony with your body. I'm not going to give you back anything. I'm not going to give you back. I'm just going to take, 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 take until... I kill my, I self-destruct. You feel what I'm saying? So we have to realize that, um, we'll ask ourselves, are you, do you play as a cancer cell on this organism that we live on? Do you? All right now, Bush babies, I see y'all in the analytics. It's 42% of you guys not subscribed. Come on, y'all. Go on ahead and subscribe to the channel. Live in harmony with this organism that we live on. And if not, why is that? Um, you know, we have to look at the fact that we've been programmed since we poured it in, since we came here. We've been programmed uh, with schools, um, advertisements, everything to be cancer cells, to be disconnected from what we are. And because of that, it allows us to act as cancer cells. We should understand that we are one with this organism. We connect directly to this organism and we want to live in harmony with it. Um, and that, that's why it's so important that you understand the, the biology and, and understand the, the science behind yourself and how you relate to this organism. Because once you start finding out that, you know, touching the ground uh, grounds you and it actually uh, is beneficial for your health. Once you start understanding the natural diet of the human being, when, once you start uh, understanding that you need proper sunlight, oxygen, um, you need all these things, all these components that they play a role in, in um, your health. Then you start piecing together that, that in fact that you are part of a, the same system that has always existed. You start coming awakening to the reality that the life that you've been living has been a lie. All the shit that you've been taught has been a lie. That you've been living backwards your whole life. That you've only been and known a system that isn't even the original system. That is a system that was put there by somebody else. It's a creation of somebody else's mind. And... All these things that, that are being taught and are being promoted in this system go against the original system, which is nature. Nature is the original matrix. This is what we built a matrix on top of a matrix. This That's what Babylon is. Babylon takes from the original matrix to feed this artificial matrix. And mm -hmm. it's like a world within a world. Right. But once you start learning all these sci the science of why you should connect back to nature, and you start studying biology, start studying astrology, you get to get knowledge itself. This is where shit really gets deep because you start really awakening to the reality that you're supposed to be connected to the earth, that you're supposed to be living in harmony with the earth, that it's not only conducive to you, but it's conducive to the earth for you to be in harmony with it. Because when you're in harmony with the earth, you give back to the earth. When you're in harmony with the earth, you understand how to live in equilibrium with it. You give your soil back to the earth because you understand that that's, that's, not, that's not trash, it's not garbage, it's, it's food for something else. It, it nourishes the plants. It, um, it's food for ants and other bugs, and and this is just the natural equilibrium of, of this of this reality that you, mm. we have to give back. It's not just a take take situation, but Babylon allows us to disconnect so far that we don't even realize that this is what's going on. That that we need to be integrated into the natural system that has always existed because this is really where you tap into your highest potential, where you really become God in, in um, every sense of the word, where you really tap into all the capabilities that, that are within your being when you really understand and know that you need to be in a certain location you need to be between the tropics because why because you need to get that sunlight you need that proper amount of uv so that you can um you know generate vitamin d and and all these hormones in your body for it to be in with an equilibrium you need to be in a certain location so then you want to um, get fresh fruit you want to be in the um, food from the earth so then you also want to live in a place that lives in abundance that has that in abundance and in the tropics all that grows in abundance so you don't even got to worry about it it's only when you put yourself out of that environment that you start realizing that that shit is really doesn't doesn't I ain't even finna hold y'all, but is it just me or does Nubian, a.k.a. Musa, a.k.a. Dalen, look like he's in a trance right now? He's just staring at the camera.
it's only when you put yourself out of that environment that you start realizing that that shit is really doesn't doesn't grow as abundantly in those environments and it's hard to really maintain um a human being if it wasn't for the export and import system which we have and that's exactly what cancer does in the body in the body when cancer starts proliferating it's, it hijacks um blood vessels and mm. starts rerouting the nutrients into the tumor mm. so that the tumor can grow and feed on it and just in the same way that's what babylon does babylon takes all the resources from these areas like in the tropics everything grows in abundance you have all fresh fruits growing um year round all types of fruits mm. but then what they do is that they take those fruits and they export them and they take them into the cities to, in order so that the cities could keep going because if they had to eat locally, ch chances are that, that that wouldn't happen because food doesn't grow abundantly in the areas where cities are mostly populated. So they take away from these um, areas where on the planet where food grows in abundantly and to the point where it's like you try to buy food here that grows here and it's more expensive and you can't find it because everything is being exported. Mm. It's like Babylon is just sucking um nature trying to suck nature dry to feed on itself and and right. for that you know system to keep growing you know yeah it's like they just it's like and it's crazy because it should be clear i mean when you're living in um a system that's not conducive it's like every animal every animal uh is going to make sure that it's in its right habitat that's how you know we're not in our right minds it's like why would you stay somewhere where you you can't live you can't naturally just live in harmony with the environment you know what i'm saying like in the tropics, you have everything you need. It's like it's like a um an animal that's born in a zoo would think that the zoo is normal. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like that. It's like when you're born in that environment, you think that that's normal, but we have to wake up and realize that that's not it's not normal. And we have to also look at what they've been putting in the foods that that we've been eating in this environment. What the cancer cell, what the lower self, has done with our foods. They've actually programmed us with um nanotechnologies within the food and in the environment your whole environment affects your whole beings it's like because you're a cell and your cell communicates with your skin it's your membrane just like everything is fractal you know you're just a bunch of cells that come together and they act out this being that you're projecting to yourself as so you're the real at the end of the day you're just a cell and how do cells communicate with their environment is through their membrane and they found a way to basically program us by altering our gene expression and our RNAs. So we have to study biology and we have to realize that, oh snap, like I've been programmed to be a cancer cell and it's time to wake up. You know, that's why it's so important to eat from the earth organically because there's natural codes and things like that that help us to get back to that, that God state, yeah. that God gene of being aware of who we are and vibrating at our highest frequency that we can. Um, so yeah, you want to get to the tropics. You want to ground yourself. You want to get back connected to who you are. Um, and another thing that we have to realize is that cancer has come to a point where it's at a certain stage. You know, a lot of people will say, well, you know, we we could kill off the cancer and da 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 da, da. But at this point, they're at like a self-destruction point where we're just trying to warn humanity of what's coming because the, this earth organism is going to heal itself and y'all look who it is it's tori aka mama joy who remembers tori y'all she's the one that was with nubian aka musa aka dalen she's the one that had a daughter with him and she named her daughter nubia now she eventually left the cult in a very dramatic way she did return once, I think, at Mama Cookie's house, but she moved on eventually, got married, has another kid, doing great. The healing process has already started. So that's another reason you kind of want to get out the way. We can already see that with earthquakes and different things. This organism is not ha happy at the moment. It's not in good shape. And we're here to take care of the earth. We have to realize that, that we're here as the immunity for the earth, to watch after the animals and to take care of the earth and enjoy and live life in abundance and we've we've come far away from that yeah that, that's a fact um and that's interesting that he says that because like in your body when you're sick uh if you pay attention the first thing that'll do it'll start heating up so when you hear um all these talks about global warming and the planet's heating up um that's just a response from the organism called earth that is trying to heal itself so it'll it'll warm up in order to basically wipe out anything on this planet that isn't conducive to 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 its health you know so 
it's just analogous to that. You know, you have to be able to see these examples within yourself and to project and understand that it's just a projection, outward projection of yourself. Everything reality is fractal. You know, in the center of your brain, you have a you have an area of your brain that it contains a hypothalamus, the pituitary, and the pineal gland, you know? It's the diacephalon. Di diacephalon, this yeah. is what this uh, area of the brain is called. And basically, this is um, analogous to a, a telescope or a microscope, and that this, these, um, these uh, parts of your brain allow you to actually navigate through these fractal realities into the astral realm and into the microscopic realm. Um, and this is analogous to that. So we really don't need like the telescopes and microscopes. We already have the potential to really tap into these dimensions, you know, and be able to see through the eyes of, of, of say an ant, you know, see through the eyes of a bird and understand where it's coming from. Understand that it's all part of the one reality that we live in and that we are that bird and that we are that ant. And then when we do this, we're able to, to live in accordance with it. But because we've been so disconnected, it's like we don't even have the potential to like to see from another beings. All right now, Bush babies, I see y'all in the analytics. It's 42% of you guys not subscribed. Come on, y'all. Go on ahead and subscribe to the channel. Perspective, you know, mm. like we can't put ourselves in the shoes of something else because we're so distracted. Like we're so insulated from yeah. our, from the reality that we can't feel eyes what we're supposed to be doing. We can't feel eyes what where we're supposed to be at. We're so disconnected from our intuition. And a lot of people, that's what that's what first awakens them is this intuition, this like feeling like they have something's wrong, like yeah. like something's going on on this planet that isn't in accordance, and they could feel it. You know, they mm -hmm. could they could feel that need, that drive to want to do something about it. Yet they don't have any direction because they really have have no knowledge of self at that point, and they haven't really understood the sciences and the reason why they should be doing it. So these are the people you might see, they just go out into nature and they're trying to, you know, live in harmony with nature. But at the end of the day, they fail because they lack the understanding as to why they should be there. They lack the, the science, you know, the biochemistry, the biology and the astrology to why they should do the things that they do. And they don't understand themselves enough. So we need to really understand these things so that we can get a better understanding and be able to really realize why we should be doing what we're doing. Like, should we just go out into nature and just and just dip off and, and duck off and never come back or is there a greater purpose here is is it perhaps that we've been sent here that we are the earth speaking to the humans that we if the earth could come into human form that this is what it would look like that it would speak to you with these words that it would convey this message that it would try to touch you in, in a way that it would spark you to take some action that this is the earth, we are the earth, we're reflections of the earth that came into human form to speak to itself in order to heal itself. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we are. And and when we when you realize that, when you awaken to that reality, then that's when you become conscious, super conscious of, of, of what's going on and you start making moves. You can't no longer be in an environment that's not conducive because at the end of the day, this this isn't the message that you came to bring. This isn't the actions that you came to take. You came here to be a, a vessel for divine knowledge and wisdom. You came here to, to, to take action and, and be the immunity on this planet. So you find yourself within a system that's contradicting everything that you feel within you that you should be doing mm. within a system that's telling you that you need to go to work, that you need to get a job, that you need to get a career, that you need to be in um, in certain relationships, that you need to stay in certain relationships that make you feel guilty for being in certain relationships. Now, I know of all of his beliefs while in the cult, I know that Rambo, a.k.a. Wild Quetzal, has changed his stance on cosmic currency. He no longer believes in that. He believes that it is a man's responsibility to go out and provide for his woman and family. Relationships that you need to stay in certain relationships that make you feel guilty for being in certain relationships. And then you born into the system that is not conducive to, to your true being. So you start looking around you, you start questioning things. And this yeah. is where a lot of people wake up. It's around that age where, you know, they're they're making decisions whether they're going to go to college or career. But it doesn't make sense to them because they feel something within them that telling them that they need to go a different route. But they don't really have any guidance. So they just, um they fall off because they really have that, lack that knowledge of self. So mm -hmm. if anybody is out there listening that if, that if you feel within you that you are the chosen and that you're part of this path, part of those chosen beings who are here, an immunity, here to be an immunity to the planet, then you need to make sure that you align yourself, vibrate yourself to those beings 
who are conducive to you and who are on the same path as you because as long as you're within the system that's constantly you know being installation that's not every every step forward you take you take two steps back because it's like then it's not letting you allowing you to flow and be and express what you really are mm. so this is the the reality we need to tap into we need to realize that we are the earth we are the earth we're just an organism that's reflect, reflecting itself back to itself, and we're representations for this earth. We're the representatives for the earth. We're the earth stewards here to take care of the land, the animals, the trees, and here to be the voice, the voice that people can understand, speaking it in a language that people can understand. If, if, a, if a, you know, if an ant could talk to you and tell you what the hell's going on with this environment and all everything it sees, that it sees wrong, this is the form that it would take. You know, this is us conveying a message to you in a way that you can understand so that you can be captivated enough to be able to change your life around it that is if it's within you you know because not everybody's here to be an immune cell and then that's another thing we got to realize that some people came into this reality just to show us what not to do mm -hmm. and that's a tough one for people to realize because they have so many attachments to people that they call family even though that these people don't really agree with what they're doing or our constant insulation for their their mission here but some people just came here to be cancer cells and that's all they can be and that's all they will be and you got to get over that and realize that if that's not you that you got to keep going you got to keep moving that if you're an immune cell like ain't nothing going to stop you from seeking this divine knowledge and wisdom you know mm -hmm. nothing can stop you and nothing can distract you from the truth and seeking the truth and speaking the truth and being the truth and that that's here at carbonation this is what we set out to do and this is what we do every day every day we put in work we wake up and we make videos we wake up and we go live we we put things together we're constantly broadcasting this message to the world because there's nothing else for us to do this is our mission this is mm -hmm. our job here on this planet like like just like you, some of you go to work and work a nine to five and have a boss and have a career and, and that's your reality this is our reality we work for god we work for nature we work for the universe and we're the immune system of this planet in every sense of that word yeah so you got to ask yourself like when you're when you're working these jobs like what does your job represent like what are you really doing everything in nature has a purpose down from the trees to the ants everything has a purpose so when you zoom out and you really look at this at this organism and you as a cell you have to ask yourself like what really is your purpose really and are you connected to this organism are you meant to be a cancer cell that's a possibility not like he said not everybody is meant to be an immunity on this planet but if you feel compelled within yourself then you will seek the knowledge of divine truth and you will come into yourself and you will realize that you have a purpose greater than yourself. Uh, everything gives in nature. The trees only take just to give. Nothing just takes, takes, takes. That's not how it works on this organism or in life in general. So figure out your place in this, on this planet, on this organism, and align yourself. Align yourself with the will of God and your purpose. Gain knowledge of self and live within that, within that purpose every day. You take your, you take these breaths, your, your breaths that you have. Be grateful for the life that you have every day, and give. Every time you eat, you need to give your soul back to the earth. That's energy. Use that energy for something conducive, and give that back to the earth where it belongs. You take from the earth, you give back to the earth. You don't give it back to the system, which pollutes the earth. You don't use a toilet. Take care of yourself. You have to honor God's creation. You are God. Honor your creation. Stop putting these chemicals on your body. Stop using these lotions and these things like that. Get, leave the Babylon system. You have to leave them. Leave their system alone. Leave the cancer cell system. Yeah, this was back when they was preaching about leaving Babylon and how the earth is going to cleanse itself and all that jibber jabber mess. And sitting up there, didn't even know they were in a cult. I would love to talk to some of the members who acknowledge the fact that they were in a cult to figure out and find out like what exact signs did they receive and what really just snapped them out of it. I would love to know that. Leave the Babylon system. You have to leave them, leave their system alone. Leave the cancer cell system alone because they're self-destructing and their time is coming to an end. So if you feel compelled and you understand that you need to take action, you need to take movement and you need to make sure that you save yourself so that you can then help and save others. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. Um, I just wanted to tell everybody if just to be conscious within your day and 
this is how you figure out if you're a cancer cell, if you're an immune cell. Just be conscious, like go around your day and just ask yourself, if just what I'm doing, is it conducive to the health of this planet? When you're going to work, who are you working for? Who are these companies that you're putting all this energy into? Are they helping the planet or are they part of the destruction of the planet? Are they poisoning the planet or are they helping to heal the planet? See, a lot of people, they don't believe that they can survive within a system, which is nature, that is actually here to heal the planet. They think they have to go work for somebody who's going to give them money, cash, and, and give them a paycheck. But that's not how nature works. Like, in, when you're working for God, everything's provided for you. You know, you don't have to have a, a residual, um, like, check coming in from a boss from a certain company. You can just get money from anywhere. Like, people are are going to support you because at the end of the day, this is your mission. And when you align with it, you vibrate with it. God is always going to provide, you know, you're always going to be taken care of because at the end of the day, everything in nature is taken care of. You know, all the, all the ants, you know, the birds, they, they all have food. They're, they're, they're not lacking anything and neither should we, when we are align ourselves with nature and this, this um, creative controlling force that we call nature, we, that, and that's what we need to do. So just go along in your day and, and ask yourself this question. Just reflect back on yourself during the day and, and ask yourself, um, am I, the actions that am I taking, are they cancer cell actions or are they, are, are they immune system actions? Am I being a cancer cell or an immune cell? Am I, am I working for a system that's destroying the planet or am I helping to spread the knowledge and the wisdom that's going to heal the planet? Am I, you know... Am, am I just putting my all my energy into a system? And, and that's another thing. Like, if you're willing to put in 12-hour shifts, 14-hour shifts, just basically deplete all your energy and constantly be working for something that's destroying the planet, how much more can you take that energy for a greater cause, for a greater purpose? Can you alchemize that energy into something that's going to heal the planet? You should be happy to be working for God. You should be happy to be sharing the knowledge, the information. You should be happy that you that you have life within you that's letting allowing you to be part of a system that's healing the planet. Just think about how beautiful that is that that we're here and we have an opportunity to spread this knowledge and information to people that's gonna heal the planet. That's the ultimate team. Like if you if you wanna have to pick a side, you know, it's like you have the, the villains and you have the heroes, you know, like this is the team that you wanna be on, the team that's you know, the Captain Planet team that's that's here to uh, save the planet, be an immune set system for the planet, and that's here to be conducive and live in harmony with the planet. So that's what we need to remember every day, and every day align your actions to be uh, immune cell actions, not cancer cell actions. And this is going to get you to a point where you're going to eventually, you're going to become to an environment where, like where we're at because you're going to come to the realiza realizations that we came to. You're going to understand what Y'all, I realize that this is a flashback, but I'm going to need y'all to go ahead and smash the heck out of that like button. I'm trying to get all of my videos and the suggested videos on YouTube. Thank you guys in advance for your assistance. It is greatly appreciated. Because you're going to come to the realiza realizations that we came to. You're going to understand what we understand, and you're going to take actions in accordance with that. And all paths lead to source, you know. Yeah, you might um, take a detour every now and then. You might try to go around it, but at the end of the day, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess Facts. this divine truth and wisdom that we're sharing with the world, you know? And I love how the Bible says um, that the meek shall inherit the earth because at the end, that's, that's what's going to happen after all these civilizations wipe themselves out after we're done playing this little game that we're playing about not being in harmony with nature, about lacking understanding after we're done um, destroying this planet the only thing the only people that are going to be left are those that listen to the message and took action and and you know align themselves with nature and these the, the people who are meek to nature are the ones that are going to inherit this earth because that's all that's going to be left if you're a cancer cell you're going to be wiped out because you're not anything that's not vibrating at the frequency of this planet is going to be wiped out just just how it is that's how the body is going to heal itself mm -hmm. and that's how we're going to come to you know a true healthy uh, organism that we call earth you know that's that's the download that we wanted to give for you guys today mm -hmm. check out the video we we did put out a, an amazing video that has all these clips um put together and that really gives you a good visual understanding of what um we're talking about and expresses it in a way that's that's really easy to understand because you know we have um people who are talking about cancer but then we overlaid it with uh, images of the planet but you, go check it out for yourself it's on youtube 
It's all on our Instagrams, you know. Shout out to Carbonation, of course, Master Teacher Tahuti uh -huh. for giving us the downloads and inspiration to even be able to speak this knowledge and wisdom and just showing us how to be um, greater and greater every day and just inspiring us in every way, you know. So, you know, we want to say I love myself to him and and just um, go look at that video and share it, share this video and just keep supporting the movement and, and really be an immune cell, you know. That's how you be an immune cell. You share the light, you spread the light, you reflect the light back to everybody so the whole world could know and understand and receive the message that we came here to bring, you know. Yeah, and also um, in closing, just take that time for yourself and, and reflect on your life and what you're doing and uh, start by giving back to nature. Start by taking the energy that you receive from nature and being grateful. It, it all start with a thought. When you when you eat, just be aware that you're getting that from the earth. Just look at your environment and these squares that we're in and just realize that everything that you have comes from nature. And when you start with that awareness, then you can build off of that. That's a fact. All right. Uh, this is Professor Rambo, Professor Musa. Mm -hmm. Follow us on, we have, um, I don't know, what's your Facebook? Oh, it'll be tagged in him. Uh, we'll tag it on Instagram too. And um, I love myself. I love myself. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as my commentary. Please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to all of my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies, y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building with it.